You guys see that chart? That's uh, the Bitcoin price right now. Guys, people are going crazy right now about Bitcoin. I totally understand it. It's it's a lot of hype. It's a lot of excitement. You know, you see that chart. You see how much percentage uh, it's gone up this year. Um, and people are, you know, there's stories all over the internet about people making a killing on it. And uh, they're crushing it. But here is my financial advice for you. Do not take out a mortgage uh, to buy Bitcoin or Litecoin or any other cryptocurrency. Do not take out a credit card line and uh, buy uh, Bitcoin. Here's what's happening. People more and more are taking out another mortgage and they're buying Bitcoin. So what's going to happen? They're going to see some returns, maybe. Um, Bitcoin has, obvi has obviously gone up a ton this year. Great. Um, but it's a total gamble. It could go down uh, just as fast as it goes up. What if you take out a mortgage on your house and then tomorrow and buy a ton of Bitcoin, hundred thousand dollars worth of Bitcoin or something, and the price drops eighty percent overnight. What are you going to do? You're going to be stuck. You're gonna not. You're gonna have this mortgage payment. You're gonna have the second mortgage payment. You're gonna be stuck in your house. And then what happens? What happens if the market dips further? We've had a great market cycle going up the last few years. People are making, you know, home values are up. People are making money there. But. If you take out a second mortgage and buy Bitcoin and Bitcoin crashes and then the property values go down 5, 10, 15 percent, whatever it might be, who knows when, when the next crash is coming, you are going to be stuck in your house, you're going to be upside down and you're not going to be able to make your payments, you're not going to have any value in your house uh, and you're going to be in trouble. So listen, Bitcoin is fun, I get it, I own some Bitcoin as well, not much, listen, I only bought an amount that I was willing to lose. I took a little bit of money from cash flows uh, from, from one of our properties, and uh, yeah, I bought a little bit of Bitcoin uh, a few months ago. It's going up. Great. That's awesome. But honestly, if it goes down to zero tomorrow, I'm not crying. I'm not losing anything. Uh, this was money that I figured, hey, let's ride the wave. Let's go up. Great. But if it crashes down to zero, okay, it was worth a shot. Maybe, maybe the upside. But I'm not putting my finances at stake. I'm not putting uh, my fi family uh, in harm's way. I'm not putting my mortgage on the line uh, because it's just not worth it. Use good financial sense. Make smart decisions when you're investing in Bitcoin. Don't invest more than you're willing to lose. All right, that's it. Thanks a lot. Leave a comment below. Let me know if you bought in, when you bought in, um, but also please make smart decisions. Thank you.